first thing that's going to happen is tomorrow you're going to be getting an email and it's going to have this information sent to you. You're going to get your login username and your password. This account, the username is mmcmahon23 and here's the password. So I'm just going to highlight the password and simply copy it. And then it says click on the link to access the login page. So I'm going to click here to the School Speak portal and I'm going to put my login ID, which was entered before, so it's right here. And then I'm going to just paste the password right there and then click login. All right. Very simple to set it up. You can tell if you're in your right account, it says welcome, I'm McMahon23, and I'm at my home page here. The first thing we would like you to do is to work with us and be our helper. We're on a team effort here, so just go to edit my profile at the top, and we just want to make sure all the information that was put in is correct and then we are asking you to put any additional information that um, will be very useful for the school to communicate with you and to help us keep your children safe. So you're going to fill in anything here. Of course your email has to be correct otherwise you wouldn't have gotten the ID and the password but if there's something wrong you're going to have to note that and send email tomorrow. Then you look down here and anytime you update anything you're going to press the little update button. Down here you're going to see the groups that you're in. So this group, this is the mom, Mary, she's the parent. So she's a member of the school and then she has a student in 5B. So 5B is also checked. Now they're grayed out so I actually can't change them at this point. But if they're wrong or if there's no checks, then you need to make a note of that. And again, email me, mbuckler at stmarygoston.org, and I will take care of that for you. Again, you're not going to be able to update this area. You want to go down here to the bottom, and you see links to your students or your child's name. So this child is Sarah McMahon, so I'm going to click on her. And... Look at this information here. Here's the profile. Make sure everything is okay. And you're going to update the profile for each student you have at St. Mary's. Um, you're going to make sure all of this information has been entered. If it isn't, please do that for us. Down here is some very important information that we need to have. All the medical information, your doctor, the doctor's address, medication that the child might be taking, and then the emergency contacts. Very important information. Um, you know, we don't like to talk about this, but there are times when things happen to a child at school. We need to get a hold of you. This is where we're going to go now. Have all the information we need is going to be in one place. And then down here, you have to authorize by putting your name, the date, and then you agree. And again, click on update. Here are those groups again and um, she should be in school and then definitely in that 5B group. You don't have to worry about any of these reading or math groups because she'll already be placed in those. So again, you're going to hit update. Then you're going to go down here and if you have any more than one child, you're going to click on each student and do the same thing. And we thank you so much for your help with this because um, it's a big job and we want everything to be very accurate and updated. Okay, so then you might want to go back to home and look over here on the left and you see school and there's a lot of information here. Um, you can view the calendars. I love the calendar. Um, go through this week or you can get a monthly calendar down here, the quick links. Here's August, August 30th, we're having one parent orientation. And then if we move to September, here's September 1st, the first day for milk, and it's the other parent orientation. 
one great feature with the school speed calendar is that we can sync it to any device. So you can have it on your phone. I did it, I synced it to Google. So I can, when I'm in Google, I can have my school speak calendar right there. I don't have to go back to my school speak account. You can print this out. You could also email it to someone if that's an option for you. So um, we really like that feature of the calendar right there. There's a lot of information going to be there, the Home and School Association, school board, parent, student handbook. The Viking voice is going to be Mr. Tiratilli's letter and newsletter each month. So there you can go and read it. And then there's some web pages here of special area teachers. And then you're at a glance. So this here at a glance is going to give you all the dates, which is going to come in handy for any vacations you might be scheduling, gives you um, all the holidays, if you need daycare or um, note those dates. Email is right here. And you do have to agree to the email terms and conditions just like any other program. So now what we want to do is we want to go and find group 5B and actually see um, the grades. So this is Mr. Bruno's web page. Here's his newsletter. And then under progress report is going to be where you find the subject areas that um, are 5B. Okay, so the student, I'm going to go into the technology grade book. And it says progress report on 824. Now this is not the progress report that's in the middle of the term that we have used before. This is just any grade that's been published and they call it a progress report. So I'm going to click on there and I'm going to see her progress in technology so far this year. So you can see the overall grade over here. She's got 95 which equates to an A minus. Um, the different categories, the independent classwork, the quizzes, the homework. Here's our grading scale. And um, down here is the assessment, which was named the Saint Report, and she got 95, so her grade is A minus. Here is the standard, which is from the diocese, uses a variety of digital tools. So that's so far what's happening. Also, if there's a missing assignment, all the information is going to be right here. You go up here, you can print out the report, you can also email the teacher. And that could be um, very convenient. Again, if you click on that, you're going to have to agree to the email and uh, then just communicate that way. I don't believe there's any grades in any of these other um, grade books. The nice thing is tonight you're going to be getting two handouts, a user guide for parents, and then the quick start. So in case you um, forget any of this, but it's also going to be posted on SchoolSpeak. So once you get your activation, you activate your account, update all the profiles for yourself, the parent, as well as all of the students, then you can go and um, start looking around in there, start finding out the information especially the calendar, I think you're going to really enjoy using that. Thank you.